Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to consider a very simple electrical component. So this is a diode and we're going to have a look at how we can use this to convert AC into DC electricity. Now we come across this sort of thing all over the place these days in the electrical industry. If you've got any piece of equipment that is changing AC into DC, chances are it'll be using diodes at least in part to do that. And we also have some very, very important things uh, to learn about this that might help us through exams. So we're going to be looking at how we uh, change this diode, how we connect them together to form what's called a bridge rectifier. We're going to have a look at the circuit for that and make sure that we, uh, we understand how this is working. So we'll bring the camera in, we'll set up our oscilloscope, we'll set up our circuit and we'll have a look at how this is going to work. So we set up a very simple circuit. We've got a source of EMF and we've got a load over here, this lamp. And the kind of electricity that we're bringing in at the moment is AC, which stands for alternating current. Now what that means is that the current is constantly changing its direction. For part of the time it's going this way around the circuit, and for the other part of the time it's going the other way around the circuit. Now for a load like a lamp, it makes absolutely no difference to that, to which way the current is flowing through it, because it's always going to illuminate. And the change is happening so quickly inside this circuit that the lamp uh, it appears to be constantly illuminated. We can't see it going on and off. If this was a fluorescent lamp, we might be able to see a little bit of flicker, but because it's a filament lamp, we can't see uh, any change because the filament doesn't cool down in between the change of direction. Now, it's entirely likely that we'll be asked in an exam at some point, how do we change AC to DC current? A lot of equipment that we use in our modern life uses DC electricity. Now that's electricity that only goes one way through the load. So if we open up something like our boiler or maybe uh, a USB socket, it may well be that inside there somewhere there is a special component called a diode and four of those will be connected together to form what's called a bridge rectifier. And that's what we use to change AC to DC current. In order to demonstrate how this works, what we're going to use is a piece of equipment called an oscilloscope. So this uh, will be at the bottom of the screen here now. So there's our oscilloscope. Now an oscilloscope uh, basically will help us to see the waveform. We'll be able to use this to visualize what the AC waveform looks like. So what I'll do is I'll connect up the oscilloscope and we'll have a look at our AC waveform. So as you can see, that is not very familiar looking. Now the reason for that is that we need to tune the oscilloscope in. So what I'm going to do first of all is bring the voltage divisions down and we'll shoot a video on a, another occasion showing exactly how to operate an oscilloscope. Uh, so now we can see that the voltage is staying on this screen. So what we'll do is we'll change the time division until we get a suitable setting. So you can see there now that is an AC waveform on the screen there. The fact that it's going up and down that indicates that the current is constantly changing its direction. Now I can just tweak that on the screen as well just to make that sit a little bit more centrally. So there we go. There is our AC waveform. We can see it's going up and down and up and down. So when it's in the positive part of the cycle the current is going in one direction around the circuit. When it's in the negative part of the cycle that indicates that the current has changed its direction. Now what we can do in order to start converting this from an AC into a DC current, we can insert a diode. Now a diode kind of acts like a one-way valve for electricity. It will allow current to flow through it in this direction, but it will not allow current to flow back the opposite way. So if we connect this into our circuit, it will have quite a profound effect on our waveform. So let's have a look at what happens. If I remove that link, we can see we lose the lamp. And if I now insert the diode, now you may notice that the lamp appears to be a little bit dimmer. I'm not sure if that's going to appear on the screen or not, but it has dimmed down noticeably in the studio here. So let's have a look at the waveform on the oscilloscope now. So if we look at the waveform on the oscilloscope now, we can see that what's happened is we've lost the negative part of the cycle. So that bottom loop has just completely vanished. And that's because the diode is allowing the current to flow in one direction around the circuit, but when the current tries to change its direction and flow back the opposite way, the diode blocks it, won't allow it to flow, and therefore there is no 
voltage flowing back in the opposite way. So we've started to achieve our objective of turning AC current into DC. However, I'm sure you'd agree that this is not a very nice DC waveform. It's DC in the sense that the current is only flowing in one direction around the circuit now. It's not going back the opposite way. However, what we're aiming for with a DC waveform is as straight a line across here as we can get. So there's big periods of time here, relatively speaking, where no current is flowing at all. In fact, half the time, there's no current flowing. So what we can do now is we can improve the use of our diodes and actually create a better DC waveform. So let's have a look at that next. So in order to create a better DC waveform, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the single diode and we're going to put in this component here. Now this component is what's called a bridge rectifier. And a bridge rectifier is basically used to convert AC current going in one side to DC current coming out the other. And you can see it's simply an arrangement of four diodes connected together in a very specific way. So what I recommend you do at some point during this video is once I've connected this into the circuit is you copy this circuit down because that's going to really help you uh, to understand how this is working and may benefit you in an exam situation. So if we just turn it over we can see there we've got the four diodes that are connected together in this specific way. So let's connect it into the circuit and see what happens. So we'll remove a couple of links here. We'll take that one out and that one out. Just move this lead so we can see the circuit a little bit more clearly. And what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in the bridge rectifier. So you can see here we've got the AC side and the DC side. And if you follow these conductors, you can see that the AC connects uh, in opposite corners of the bridge rectifier and the DC also connects on opposite sides as well. So we'll plug that in. Now again, I'm not sure how obvious this is on the camera, but the lamp has lost none of its brightness. So the lamp is exactly as bright as it was before. Okay, And if we now have a look on our oscilloscope, do you see the change again? So now, not only do we only have current going in one direction around the circuit, there's no negative part to this cycle, we can see that there's no flat areas either. We've only got uh, DC current with no, no periods where or long periods where there's no current flowing. So we've made a much better DC supply here. Okay. So again, I'd take a moment now just to copy this circuit down so that you can see exactly how it's functioning and you can trace it out yourself. So if we look at how this is working, you can see that the current is allowed to flow into the circuit to this point. It can't flow that way, and so it will flow in that direction, and it goes through the lamp in that direction. It then exits the circuit and flows out that way. When the cycle changes and the current starts to travel in the opposite direction, it comes in along this circuit to this point here. It can't flow through that diode because it's blocking it, which means it can only come this way, and it then continues round and goes through the lamp in that direction. So can you see that whichever way the current travels into the bridge rectifier from the supply side, it can only travel through the lamp in that direction, hence it becomes DC current. So we've got our DC circuit here, which hopefully you've copied down and you have clearly in your mind now. If you want to memorize that, try drawing it a few times. Have the diodes all pointing in the same direction in a sort of diamond shape like that. And just remember your AC goes in top and bottom and your DC comes out on the left and right there. Thank you very much for watching.